Another issue is trying to get the clean and distributed energy uh, more prevalent in the society and having it for different tiers of society. So right now, perhaps you have to be a little bit more affluent in order to be able to afford a solar, solar panel or an electric vehicle. Um, hopefully with technology becoming um, rapidly developed and being less costly, um, this would be better available to all strata of society. However, I think there is also a large role that government have to play here in order to um, plan for the better distribution of um, technologies such as PV cells, etc. Entonces, el principal desafío yo creo que se trata, eh, gira mucho, mucho más en torno a de una planificación holística de cuál es el impacto que pueden tener las energías renovables en, en los sistemas actuales y cómo se llega a esa transformación de la que hablaba previamente en, eh, en el futuro. The catchword for a sustainable future is sustainable intensification, but I think we need to narrow it down into elements that are of practical relevance. What do we understand when we talk about sustainable intensification? It has many elements. It has elements such as investing more in research and development to ensure that we have high productivity in the future, even if we do it at lower input levels. carbon emissions, uh, climate change, hydropower certainly has its advantages. Uh, and if used properly, you know, using a clean form of energy for, uh, you know, socio-economic development, uh, achieving, you know, the growth of the economy, uh, it can be very beneficial. I think the, the key there is in terms of looking at the, the equity issues. So using that clean energy not only to benefit uh, large industries like the mining sector, the industrial sector, but also to address uh, inequality issues like you know, providing uh, clean, uh, affordable energy to poorer communities uh, to improve their quality of life as well. Well, in a sense, cities are a living organism. You can't affect one bit without affecting others, and it needs to be seen in that way. You can often try and improve one place and it makes other things worse. So it has to be looked at uh, in systems engineering terms. We might have an impact. We don't have to do that. Species living here. Otra vez, yo pienso que una planificación y un criterio son las infraestructuras ya existentes, línea de alta tensión ya existente, carretera ya existente. Eh, casas y pueblos, trabajadores ya cerca. Entonces, si buscamos sitios para producir y la línea de alta tensión es cerca, es un proyecto mucho más sostenible si vamos al Patagonia y tenemos que construir como 2,000 kilómetros de línea de alta, alta tensión. El impacto es triple. We have just, uh, talking about Santiago, uh, we have just done an analysis for this morning talk that we have done with, uh, with our lab members. And this analysis has shown that, for instance, in taxi uh, sharing, you can do a lot. Because there are many, many taxis circulating in Santiago. And our models have shown that basically nearly half, uh, sorry, nearly half of the traffic uh, generated by taxi could be just taken away with a system in which you share rides and the passengers arrive at the destination with just at most a five minute delay. People tend to move in a very similar way, meaning that if you want to move from point A, a to point B, well, you would very likely find somebody else at most, I don't know, 400 meters from where you are, that within a few minutes want to go more or less in the same direction and you can share the ride. This is very simple, can actually change a lot the picture of traffic. Uh, so a lot of mining companies are looking at seawater as, as a potential resource, uh, but desalination is, is 
incredibly energy intensive process. Uh, so if we can find ways to, for instance, use re renewable energy to power that, that desalination process, that I think will, will help, uh, take, help the mining industry take steps towards becoming more uh, energy sustainable. Entonces, por una parte, yo destaco que, que ha funcionado este trabajo conjunto, que me parece que, que es importante para Chile. Y, y por otra parte, me parece interesante eh, que, que tengamos este roce con gente que viene de distintos países, que viene de distintos sectores, que viene de distintas experiencias, y que lo que le hemos pedido, tal como es el título de esta iniciativa, Explorando el Futuro, le hemos pedido que nos traigan un poco de ese futuro para acá. ¿eh? Y, que, y que lo pongamos sobre la mesa, que lo discutamos, y que veamos también eh, qué otros futuros existen, qué posibilidades tenemos como país de avanzar en esos futuros que impliquen más bajas emisiones eh, de gases de efecto invernadero, que impliquen políticas energéticas que sean buenas tanto para el medio ambiente como para el desarrollo del país.